Hi there, I'm Opal. I'm Jade. And, and we, we are Off Colored Treasures. Treasures. Welcome. Welcome! Friends and heathens, last weekend we had the pleasure of being featured as a part of Sherwood Forest Virtual Fair alongside some incredible performers, including the Dublin Harpers, the Longsword Duels Class, Hansi Fatima, and New Riders of the Golden Age. To watch the full episode, check out the Sherwood Forest Fair YouTube channel, and to donate or tip the performers involved, check out the link on screen now. Now we thought it would be a good idea to show you our reaction to our show, because we don't actually get to see ourselves on stage. It's true, and I do some really, really dumb things. Yeah. <laughs> but we thought it would be a good sort of uh, opportunity to show you some of the thought processes behind the show, as well as sort of laugh at ourselves, because if you can't laugh at yourself, what's the point, right? Yeah. Wait, here we go. go. Gamble Gold! Oh, it's Gamble, Gamble Gold. Gold. Hey, Gamble, what are you doing way out here in the forest? I've been looking all over for you. I've been trying to relax and stay hidden from all the longsword fighting that's been going on. There was a lot of longsword fighting. An cup. And a lot of penis jokes uh, uh, during that. I was having this a sword fight with pants. Robin Hood and... Uh, <laughs> you had a sword fight with Robin Hood. Well, it's, it's a pair and a half of loud pants if you think about it. Because I ran away, and when I did, I spilled my beer. Oh, uh, but you know what's close by here? The three that's sacks alcohol pop abuse. Just over the way. Oh, yes. Wait, isn't there where Opal and Jade perform? Yes, it oh, is. I would that they were here. Oh, you know what? I learned a trick from Robin Hood. If we think about Opal and Jade, we think about all kinds of naughty things, but all of them consensual, <laughs> then. Uh, <laughs> all of the consent? consensual. Think Why? Oh, because consent is sexy. Is sexy. Not very clearly, but I see them. Yes. We're better yes. blurry, I promise. And uh, I don't know if I need another drink because they're rather blurry. <laughs> Anyone who may not be familiar, so we are saucer singing sisters, professional wenches, yes. aspiring musicians, comedians, and general engineers. Shut up, beer line. Yeah, so this was exciting. Oh. This is a classic ready song that we have gone and made a parody of. Uh -huh. um, my is so, uh, a patron asked us to write a dirty version of this song, and we did. Um, I love it. Way ho the noisy room. Way ho the noisy room. The room down in the brothel o. I love when they sing along with us, though. Yeah, it it's so nice. Happy. It is so nice. We love a well, a well trained Rinny. <laughs> <laughs> My cleavage in that moment. <laughs> You're having a very good cleavage day that day. <laughs> I have good cleavage days most of the time. Uh, my, my boobs are an illusion, so it's it's pretty easy. Okay, I struggled when writing this. I really did, uh, because I wasn't sure what to do here. Genuinely. I'm not wrong. I forgot. <laughs> it was the first time I did that, I think. <laughs> Can you see my face? I'm just like... Oh. <laughs> And I'm still laughing. And you're like, she's going to hit me. <laughs> See, I like when I screw with her on stage because she doesn't know what's coming. It's great, though. Oh, I secretly. Pick my chest. The <laughs> 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 second try of us doing that on stage. Yeah, I'm really. Like the yeah, there, there are a limit to the noises I will make on stage, but you're welcome, Internet. <laughs> Right up Eric. front, we have the fabulous 
Because our beloved Squire Consent was absent that day, we adore him. It was so frigging hot this day. It was so humid, it was just awful. And I've got my hair mostly down, oh my god, it got bad. This was actually uh, an idea that was suggested to us by uh, Rocket, who worked for us at the Texas Renaissance Festival. Uh, he inspired that wench over there, uh, and we really, really love it. It's something that we've run with, and uh, it's also a tier on our Patreon. <laughs> Why do Scotsmen wear shorts? <laughs> because it's easier to run with your skirt up than your pants down. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're like operatic, and I'm like. <laughs> So, uh, in case you didn't know, the actual mythology of, uh, of uh, fornicating with sheep, um, where that comes from, is actually not Scotland, it's the Welsh. Uh, because at a certain point in history, it was uh, illegal to steal sheep, and the, the punishment for that crime uh, was the loss of your hand, whereas uh, you will find heavily for fornicating with sheep. And so people, sheep thieves, would, uh, would, yeah, Australian penal colonies, um, but sheep thief would say that they were fornicating with oh, the sheep. Oh, I made the wildfire joke. Oh, God, that was so tasteless. <laughs> no. Uh, but, yeah, it was easier to get off saying that you sheep uh, than you were trying to steal one. I've never actually watched her face when you did that. Yeah, I crossed my eyes. <laughs> Oh, we're getting naughty. Uh, we've already we've done a brothel and uh, sheep fornication, and now we're gonna get naughty, apparently. A princess joke. I love this. It is my favorite thing. It's my favorite joke I've ever written. We're still going. <laughs> And it genuinely always makes me laugh. Oh, it was Rogue Rescue Night. It was. Oh, we love our Celtic Rogue. We do. We had so much fun doing that show. Oh my goodness, it was fantastic. We, uh, <laughs> uh, I made some really, really amazing fun jokes. I accused a man of looking like an Irish Chippendale dancer. Um, they were too short of the Irish uh, uh, village uh, people. Yeah, Irish village people. Um, I called uh, Cabana Saucy of Iris and Rose Wild and Thorny fame. Uh, a sucker mum. Uh, she, she took great offense to She you. did. We're going to do the thing. We're going to do the thing. We're going to end the show in my absolute favorite way. We are going to end the show with an invitation to you all to jump into bed. Ah, I love jump. So this is a song that I wrote. Uh, there's a building content and I, it's an opportunity to, for me to do improv and it makes me so so happy i am you're quite truly the god of the universe hello tiny viking run tiny viking <laughs> child keep your crotch goblins out of my bar You know, I, I've never really questioned that before, but I doubt you have the stamina. <laughs> My day rate is still negotiable. <laughs> Yeah, this was fun. I randomly picked a bride and groom in the front row. You should almost call him on stage. Oh! Well, um... So you're quite lovely. She's really a bride. 
she was. Oh, she was wearing this beautiful dress. Slit all the way up. Meow. <laughs> 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 It's true. He may be cute, but darling, you should run. <laughs> I have no comment. means <laughs> no. He's a really interesting cat to watch. It's like a cool. Friar is not a man of grace. This heathen tea bag by faith. I love that he was tea bagging along with you. <laughs> we love it when the audience gets involved. So. So the tattoo does go all the way down uh, because she found me later on in the evening uh, and it got weird. The beard was shit. <laughs> he had a great mustache. That <laughs> was a bad. <laughs> Oh, I love this gentleman. Mm. So you should close your legs. Your kilt ain't holding your staff. <laughs> he wanders around with a blue ribbon protruding from the bottom of his kilt. So much face mounting with you. Yeah, he's getting a blowjob in the middle of a show. <laughs> she had nice tits. Huge tracks, tracks of, of land. Always with consent. Always with consent. <laughs> you were just like yeah i was enthralled it was an it was an electric fan and it was amazing i'll have you know it was like 85 degrees and there's no breeze in the bar that sort of like mad that day oh th there was a disney princess first that we had to cut That guy was not like, though. Mm. Tasty. My sister's a little bit of so her lovers say. Allegedly, being with her is like throwing a hot dog down a hole. So much lube. I'll have you know I do my cakes every night. Thanks for oversharing, sis. <laughs> really nobody else that I would want to exchange uh, jokes about uh, venereal disease with than you. Uh, yeah, it's really, it's I don't think we actually could do that with anyone else, honestly. I don't know. I could say that to other people. <laughs> Thanks, audience. We, I, I appreciate you. We may not be able to say it, but you can. 
And they do! Every time. What does that say about me? Oh, they're joining in like a choir of soiled doves. Oh, that was fun. Ah, oh, that was fun. Oh, yeah. That was nice. Yeah. Lords and ladies, thank you so much for <laughs> watching us. We hope you enjoyed uh, watching us react to Sherwood Forest Virtual Fair Episode 2, Oakland Jade Section. We adore you all. Stay safe, and we will see you soon with uh, some real fun collaborations and some more live streams. I'm Opal. I'm Jade. And, and we, we are, are Off-Colored Treasures. Treasures. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>